Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the workshop, got a new crazy camera angle today. And I wanted to share this with you guys, I found this recently, it's a paddle, but um, it's a very short paddle, I don't know what exactly this is for, but typically a canoe paddle is about four feet long, and this one, I don't know, know, know if you can tell the scale there, but it's about, it's less than 30 inches. So this is a very short paddle, and I thought to myself, you know, if you look at my stable of homemade instruments. I've got a lot of one string instruments, a lot of three string and four string instruments. I have very few two string instruments. So that's what I'm gonna try to make today is a chugger out of this paddle. Let's give it a shot. Right, there you have it folks the paddle guitar so let's just go over what i did real quick by the way you might have noticed if you're keen eye i was wearing my shop apron here that's new i just got a shop apron because i ruined too many shirts anyway let's start at the top here up by the headstock we've got two of these tuners i sort of flattened out the bottom here so that they would mount nice and flush we've got a nut uh, a bolt for the nut. <laughs> that sounds funny. 23 inch scale. I was surprised. I got a full 23 inch scale on here. I thought I was gonna have to go with something shorter and we've even got a little room back here. We've got two um, individual adjustable bridges there and a giddy bucker pickup. And you might have noticed when I was mounting that I used a little spacer there to keep it closer to the strings. And there we go. And very simple electronics. It just goes straight to the jack underneath hot glued in place. And then I also, maybe you can just kind of see this, I did a ground wire there to keep everything nice and quiet. And that actually comes through, and it's probably really hard to see, but I, it actually comes through the bridge, this bridge saddle here. And actually I soldered it. I made a little uh, groove and soldered it right to the bridge. So should be fully quiet and everything. I guess there's one thing left to do, plug it in.
Okay, so there we have it, folks. That's the new paddle guitar. I just threw it together in the garage. Uh, one other thing that I kind of added after the fact, I put a strap button here and back here so you could put a strap on it because it is kind of awkward to try to balance just because of the shape. So it does work better with the strap. But uh, one thing that it is missing, I would like to put something on the back here to cover this. And I actually thought I had one of those little cigar boxes. I always keep a couple of those small cigar boxes around for things like this, but uh, I must've used them all. And I was thinking, you know, just a small little cigar box like this and then contour it to match and just put it right over that to cover all that stuff. So maybe that'll be something I'll have to go back and add. But for just a couple hours in the workshop this morning with no plan and just literally going by the seat of my pants, we have a paddle guitar. Hey, why not? Thanks for tuning in, and if you like my content on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.